His studio space is just as much cowboy as it is contemporary art, which makes sense considering that unique theme shines through his artwork and is essentially to thank for his success as an artist. He is tonight's Someone You Should Know. He begins with a bandana because, as he says, you can get paint off your skin but not your hair. But where the story of Walter Peel really begins is on the ranch in Marion, North Dakota. Without electricity and without running water, and so uh, uh, I, uh, I drew a lot as a kid. He drew a lot but had no formal art training until he went to college. What he did have training in was keeping livestock and a lot of time spent at the rodeo, even taking a try at it himself. I got on some head enough to find out that it really wasn't what I was about. Art was his true calling. His website says, I like art, rodeo, and putting on paint, but not necessarily in that order. It was only fitting that he established himself as the first to create a cross between contemporary and Western Americana. It just uh, seemed like that was a good uh, uh, subject matter for me to deal with as an artist. He knew a unique approach was what would help him make a living as an artist. However, he also taught at Minot State University for almost 50 years. During that time, he basically worked two full-time jobs and then some. I did odd jobs and worked at the livestock yard here in Minot and uh, uh, moved uh, cattle in the summertime and, um, you know, odd jobs like that. But in the latter years, uh, the art practice, if you keep at it long enough and you're lucky and you connect with the galleries and you uh, develop a following, uh, you might be able to sell enough work to support yourself that way. He says he's grateful that's been the case for him. Today, he has permanent collections at the Northwest Center for the Arts at Minot State and in Grand Forks at the North Dakota Museum of Art and all over the country. Would you know at any given time where all your pieces could be across the country? Oh, no, uh, no, uh, work I have I've sold a lot of work over the last uh, 50 years. The bursts of color and the flare of boots, saddles, horses, and bull riding all reside in homes across the nation, too. Walter Peel is someone you should know. Peel is an artist, a teacher, he's a dad and a husband, of which comes from a sweet story when he met his wife in the second grade at the pencil sharpener. And he's also a bar owner. He recently sold the Blue Rider Bar in Minot, but he had owned it and operated it since it opened.